So I went a little ham last night and as you can see, my entire team is now above level 50. Last you checked out, they weren't and now here they are. Ignore refrigerator over there. I, for some reason, was on the roof. I don't know why, but we're just gonna pick up where we left off. I'm gonna re-challenge the ghost gym and hopefully this time I'll actually win because my team is now over leveled. Oh, and I guess I should bring up, um, yes, as you can see, our good friend, Miss Amy has fully evolved into Tinkaton, as she should. Can we talk about this move right here, Gigaton Hammer? Why is it 160 power? Thankfully, it doesn't let you use it twice in a row, but what the fuck? 160 power? And for what? Oh, wait, there's the fucking rap battle. I have to sit through this again? I already know what happens. Why don't we just get straight to the battle? I don't care. I don't care about you, Cashier. You're a flop. All right, this time around, Miss Amy Rose, the queen herself, will be replacing Yashi in the double battle. Please, Amy, please do it for the girls. Damn it, they're both slow. I keep forgetting how slow my damn team is. Anyways, Amy coming in. Bam! One shot it. See, that's what happens when you overlevel your team. Both of you attack the Mimikyu because that Mimikyu is a piece of shit. Yes! This is Amy's world and we're all just living in it. And she leveled up, as she should. Peter coming through with another one shot. Hey, the gang's all here. All of the Houndstones are here to vibe out. Oh my God, there's my boy. There's my boy, the graveyard, the graveyard. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's my fucking boy. That is the best character in the game. Y'all cannot deny that. Last time he was just vibing out while, while I was getting obliterated. Now it's the other way around. Like, ooh, ooh, your Pokemon turned into a ghost type. Both of my Pokemon are strong against you. <laughs> Again with the one shot. You know what would have been a smarter thing for this terrestrialization gimmick? Have a ghost type terrestrialize into something ghost is weak to. A ghost type Pokemon terrestrializing into a normal type. Oh. Oh my God, it's my boy. Hi, Hassel. Thank you for once again remembering who I am. I was watching your battles with the gym leader from the sidelines and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Those are words that I can't relate to. Look at my poor character's face. Like I'm so shocked by this much appraise from a man. I can't relate to a man complimenting me for my skills. Now, according to my map, I only have one Titan Pokemon left and that's the dragon Pokemon over here. So I think it's only fair that we just fly right to there and just do it just to impress Arvin. Cause hello, he is like my boyfriend basically. So I think it's only fair. Does this lake lag for anybody else? Every time I'm at this lake, look at my game. Look how slow it's running already. I feel like there's too many Pokemon spawned here that like my poor game is struggling right now to run. Like, what is up with all these Dratinis? Why are there Avalags already spawned on the island? Why are there Sushimons everywhere? Sushis. Oh, oh, I'm, I, I don't wanna battle you. So is it this one right over here? No, then where is it? Oh, am I gonna have to talk to them and figure out which one it is? Like, it has to be the biggest one. Which one is the biggest? Is it you? You look, you look significantly bigger to the rest of them. Are you the Titan? He said Titan. I Titan. Oh, thank you for telling me the answer. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Bro, that scared me. I stand corrected. It's the fish. I have to battle the fish. Okay, I should probably, I should probably switch my Pokemon then. Stevie's not even on screen right now, but She's still coming in with the hits. Oh shit, not the body slam. Oh God, okay, never mind. Stevie came in, did what she needed to do. There it goes, just swimming away. Do I have to follow it? What? What was that? What What was that? Why did it just show me the ground? I don't care about the ground. Come on, Moto Mami, let's go kill that fish. Hello? Oh, oh, I'm gonna get eaten. Oh, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Somehow I'm standing on water. Where the hell's Arvin gonna come from? We're in the middle of the lake. Oh, Jesus? What the fuck? We're on the lake. How are you running? Oh, okay. The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan. Didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. And I didn't expect to see a man walk on water. And yet here we are. Okay, and his squirrel, there's a squirrel. Oh, okay, Stevie, Stevie, 
Stevie, come through. For once, am I gonna get the final hit? And just like that, the final Titan has been quelled. Oh my God. We, we did it, Vis. Yes, we did. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. Uh-huh. Hmm? Whoa, the little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch. Ha. Huh. Taida! Oh wait, do I have to battle it? Oh. Oh, okay, with the twist and turns. Finally, this battle got interesting. Like, oh my God. Yeah, thank God I did Volt Switch because I need to bring someone else out onto the battlefield right now. Who's good against Dragon? It's only Amy, so I guess I have to bring Amy out. How come she's on a floaty but nobody else is? We're in the lake. Eh, I still two-shotted it, so. Here I am, being the MVP of this battle, me and the girls. Yes, Amy! That's my girl, that's my fucking girl! Wow, I'm only 20 minutes into this recording and I've defeated a gym and the final Titan. I am really speed running through this right now, huh? That's my hard work. Okay, we don't need to flirt. I just found out that you might be the next Jesus Christ. Cause you literally ran on, like, like Arvin, is that something that you can just do? You just ran on water. Oh, now there's an ultra ball on the floor. It's chow time, blah, blah, blah. Here we go on our date. So what happens now, by the way? Is Mabostiff gonna heal? Oh my God, we're gonna find out. Please, all I want is this poor dog to be better. Come on, bud, eat up. This is gonna make you all better, I promise. Viss and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Arvin! My boss, Steph. You did your best, bud. Sorry, what the fuck is going on? Oh, the Pokeball. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, he's so cute. And that fucking ultra ball is still on the floor. Why? Oh God, who's calling me now? Oh, oh God. Here's the other hot one. Hello, this, this is Turo. It seems that Maridon has regained all of its powers except for the power to battle. Oh my God. Oh my God, Arvin, stop dragging him. <laughs> In front of us. Oh, God. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you because... Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Please, take Vis back to the lighthouse. To the lab. I will reach out once more when you arrive there. What is going on? I guess you probably already know. But that... That's my dad. Yeah. Yeah, we've... We've covered this. Always buried under his work. Off pursuing his own research. Never at home with me. That's the first time I've ever even heard his voice in years. I knew he had daddy issues, but damn. I didn't know it was like that. And now the first thing I get to be is treated like some kind of errand boy. But I'm guessing you and Mariah probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie. I feel like my blood's boiling, but sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. The lab is off Pokopat at the lighthouse where we first met. Oh, he remembers where we met. Everyone always says he's kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that who else? Who else would we be talking about right now? But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. Ooh, <laughs> damn, he's just dragging him. I don't have a single memory of him ever even playing with me, his own kid. My boss Stiff's the only one who was there for me, always. Oh my God, this shit's getting real deep real quick. Oh, another cutscene. Oh God, what's going on? Why is it so high quality? Oh. Oh my God. I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of area zero in the great Puri crater of Paldea. I have been researching the unique Pokemon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand to carry out the final step of the great Professor Tudor's glorious research. But there's something we need first. Something that can be found within the lab, the Violet Book. <gasps> That's the book he stole. Oh, he just had it on him. Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that it will be an experience worth treasuring if you come, but we'll get expelled. They said we're not allowed there. It seems that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take some time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that my boss have got wounded in the first place. So he's already been? I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. But I wanna go with you. This could be our third date. 
I mean, like, of course I'm gonna go. We might find our treasure. Girl, you're gonna come with me, whether you want to or not. You can leave Mabostov home, but like, I'm gonna take you with me. Stop looking at me like that. He did ask. I can't just stand by and watch while a friend. Stop calling me that. So I guess I'm going to. Damn. Yeah. I'd love to give dad a piece of my mind. I, I'll help you. I'll help you kick his ass. Outside, we're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready. So this is the Pokemon lab in Paldea. Honestly, kind of cool. I like how low key it is and how mysterious it is. Anything in the fridge? The fridge door is too heavy to open. <laughs> it's a microwave. It looks like it hasn't been used in a long time, so I can steal it then. My dorm room needs one. The cook stop shows signs of having been used recently. I'm gonna assume that's Arvin. It's a sink that hasn't been used in a while. The mirror is fogged and hard to see in. How do you know it hasn't been used in a while? Hi, can I talk to your dog first? Hello? Mabostiff, hi. I guess a formal introduction's needed. I'm this. I'm your good buddy Arvin's person. That's like the best way to put it. What the fuck do you want, you pig? Girl, mind your business. Ready for a battle. I mean, I guess. You're ready too, right, Mabostiff? You're battling with Mabostiff. Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. But my buddy here has been bursting with energy. You never know, he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining with me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. How do you know that? Can you speak dog? Like, did he tell you that? Oh God, oh God. We're gonna have to battle Arvin. I'm kind of scared. Arvin's been a bit of a weakling, but like he kind of pulls through when he needs to. So I'm really worried he's gonna do that now. Greedent. Starting off with that score. Oh, am I gonna have to battle all the Pokemon he battled with? Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Urban Mystica are all stars, every one of them. Oh, thanks for answering my question. Stevie, Volt Switch, now. Oh, and of course it's a crit. And of course you're fuck. Are you sure you're paralyzed? Cause you're moving a lot like you aren't. Uh-oh, oh fuck. Crap, crap, crap a like of course. Okay, Peter, it's your turn. Um, Let's go Bitter Blade. Thank God you're faster. Doodoo -doo Head, I think it's your time to shine. I know she's still here and I know she's been a bit complicated as a team member, but she finally learned Earthquake, so I do have high hopes for my girl. I believe in her. I still have faith in her. Okay. Okay, starting off with the Stealth Rock. That's that's pretty smart, Arvin. I'll give you that. Doodoo -doo Head, Earthquake. Hey. okay, okay. Do it again, do it again. Oh crap, it knows Earthquake too. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, but Doodoo -doo had lived it. Come on, Doodoo -doo Head. Come on, come on, girl. Come on. Oh, come on. I know that it's gonna knock me out this turn, so I have to heal first. I have to heal. Is it smart to heal? No, maybe max potion. Let's just max potion real quick. <laughs> That's gonna be a dumb move. I already know it. Don't one shot, don't one shot. Okay, we're back to where we were. So no matter what, I'm gonna get knocked out. You know what? I'm just gonna use this to fucking revive Kurt Hummel then. That's probably a smarter move. Hey, but Kurt Hummel coming in clutch, knocking out another Pokemon. Toad scroll. Oh God, not that one. Peter, it's back to you, babes. <laughs> one thing about Peter, he's fast. Oh crap, but he's not fast enough. Oh, oh, but Peter still lived. Peter lives and didn't do enough damage. I should have done Bitter Blade. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Crap, there goes another Pokemon. Thank God I'm not Nuzlocking. It's up to you, Stevie. Dumb because it's a grass type, but <laughs> you're faster and you know a flying move. So I believe in you. I, I could have believed in you a lot more than that. That's my girl. That's my girl, Stevie, taking out another Pokemon. Scovillian, that's fire grass. What is it weak to? I have no idea. Kurt's kind of default option, so we'll send Kurt in. Please be faster, please be faster, please be faster. That's all I want. And please don't miss Hurricane. Thank you, Hurricane Katrina. Is he gonna terrestrialize? I feel like he's about to terrestrialize the Pokemon. Oh, wow, yep. Who could have seen it coming? The ocean glitched out. The ocean is gone. I'm gonna send out Yas first because I wanna save Amy for last. <laughs> Cause Amy's my true player right now and I don't wanna lose her right away. Please Yas, please be faster, please be faster. Yes, she used Dazzling Gleam. Okay, thank God she was faster. We were so close, Mabasif, so close. But this, thanks little buddy. Anytime, big buddy. Oh my God, 12,000. Damn, Arvin, you got money, huh? Much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some support. 
The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong. There are all sorts of weird machines there too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills and someone who can deal with crazy tech. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I wonder who those are. I mean, I'm gonna have to recruit my bestie, Nimona. I know you don't like her, but like, she's my bestie. Like, she would go to bat for either of us. You know that's the truth. So do I have to complete the storylines first? Path of Legends? Complete. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. So Area Zero's post, that's gonna be like the final story then, huh? I have made it to the ice type gym and I am about to take it on. Oh wow, who would have thought she would be here? Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a 10th of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know, but I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Thanks bestie. And now we have to battle. Welcome to the Glacido gym. The snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. Oh, oh, it's like that balloon challenge from Legends Arceus. Okay, here we go, Motomami. Why is she going slow as hell? This is so fucking slow. What is going on? Motomami, speed up. This is riveting content, by the way. Am I there already? In 30 seconds? I honestly thought that was gonna be so much harder. What the hell? Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Gru- Let's not do Grusha dirty like that. He was a prime time snowboarder, bitch. I was just chilling down that entire- Let's not do that. Like enough with the compliments. Ooh, on a nice chilling winter night, I am here. And there's a Satotl. My name is Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. You don't need to lie to me. Just, like, girl, no, they weren't. Don't let that go to your head. Trust me, it's nowhere near my head. It's not even close to my feet. Today is not a great day to face me, you know? You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? Yeah, that's why I'm here. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. You want a photo to get... Am I asking these people for photos? This entire time I'm asking them for photos? That's so uncool. I agree. I wouldn't be doing this. Oh, that's cute. Wait, that's a cute photo. <laughs> You're telling me I walked up to Mila and asked her for a photo? Right guy's here with the child. Who the fuck is this child? He's good with Pokemon. Even La Premiere has taken an interest in him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Who the fuck is this child? But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Like, really strong. I'm one of- That's a child. In order to face the gym leader Tulip, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Working up a sweat with a special kind of exercise? The emotional spectrum practice? I said that right? Oh god, is this therapy? Step right up for some exercise. It's Dendra. V-Girl. Another hottie. Who would have thunk? I'll show you a certain move and all you have to do is copy it. So it's like just dance. Okay, I thought they were gonna like start up a therapy session the second they said emotional. What kind of dance dance revolution shit is this? Show me excitement. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What a great exercise. I pressed the wrong one. Fuck. That was the worst one out of all of them. And here we go. Final gym leader of this save. I'm about to battle Miss Tulip. Ugh, gorgeous. Gorgeous girl, Miss Tulip. Don't tell me it. Oh, right, because it's psychic. Normal. But I still defeated it regardless. Espatra? Yas? Miss Yas herself? I hope my Pokemon doesn't see what I'm about to do to her. I don't know. Is she weak to. She might have been weak to Ghost too. But you know what? I'm gonna give Doodoo Head a chance. And she's using Psychic. But Doodoo Head lived it. That's my girl. And she, you could have went. Okay. You know what? I'm benefit of the doubt. She still did a lot of damage. She at least poisoned her. So that's something worth celebrating. Oh God, please live. Please live. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. What the fuck did I just say? Why? Number one rule in Pokemon. Don't wish for something you don't want because then it is gonna happen. Oh, serving some Raja Gemini with that purple eyeball. Okay, that's a look. Hey, I can't get over the fact that I asked her for this photo. 
I asked to take a photo with her. That's so embarrassing. I'm sorry. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do that in real life. Like, what the fuck? Don't go uploading that selfie we just took to social media. You know, Tulip, I respect that. You gotta keep your privacy. Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is for you to take on the Pokemon League. And if you hope to stand alongside Pneumonia as a... I did not mean to call her Pneumonia. <laughs> so should I challenge the Pokemon League first or should I defeat the other two Team Star bases? I think because I am a boss, it would probably make more sense to do the Pokemon League first so then I can be a champion as I obliterate those two Team Star members. Although, is Team Star truly the villain in this game? They're trying to make them out to be evil, evil, evil. When the more and more you learn about them, the more you realize they're actually good people. They're helping people who are getting bullied at school. Sure, they themselves aren't going to school. Whoa, big whoop de doo Okay. I mean, yes, education is important, but so is not being bullied. I wouldn't be surprised if Team Star actually ended up being the good guys this time around. What if that's the twist? Cassiopeia wants to take down Team Star because he actually hates them. Not because they're evil, but because he himself is the evil or they themselves, because we don't actually know who they are. I still have this theory that Penny is somehow involved in this more than she wants us to believe. I wouldn't be surprised if either T Penny was Big Boss or if Penny was Cassiopeia, you know, like, or both even. Twist villains, I mean, it's Pokemon, let's be honest. Like, <laughs> that's my theory though. Like, I feel like Cassiopeia is actually the evil one not Team Star. Because like, what the fuck has Team Star actually done wrong? We're invading their bases. Obviously they're gonna fight back. And it's like, what is up with this recent trend in Pokemon games? The evil teams aren't evil. They're just outcasts. Like in, you know, Galar, it was just this punk group, the punk movement. We had to go against the punk movement? That's not very punk rock of Pokemon. I miss when the evil teens were actually evil. In Gen 5, like the evil teens wanted to get rid of Pokemon and separate them from humans. In this game, it's like, what? It's just people that want to be themselves? Why are we fighting against that? So this is it. You've decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must pass to become a champion is held here in this building. Well. Yeah, that's why I'm here. All right, now I know I'm supposed to take on the Elite Four right now, but first I need a sandwich. It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well, you may proceed to the interview room. Interview? Hello, why is she here? Rika? Oh, why did I just, <laughs> why did I just slide up to the chair like that? Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. The interview. How did you get here today? Um, I rode on my Pokemon? Tell me the name of the school. Yuva Academy. What brings you to the Pokemon? I came to be a champion. What is this? <laughs> like, what do you intend to do? I want to find treasure. I feel like that's the best answer to give. Which of the eight gyms gave you the most difficulty? I don't know any of the gyms by name. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Category was fierce. It was obviously, wait, the grass cat, the fire croc, and the duckling. Why not the water duck? The final question for this interview. Do you like Pokemon? The current state of the company? No. But the Pokemon themselves? Yes. Good job, kiddo. Oh, thank God. That about wraps up the interview. Is there a way to fail the interview? Because I did I, I didn't fail, but imagine if I could. No one has passed on their first try since Nimona. Is everybody in this town just stupid? Yay, now I get to face the Elite Four. Who could have seen that coming? I'm very nervous. I don't usually do well on the Elite Four, especially my first try, so. Oh my God, and I have to start off with her too. I say I'll go easy on you, but I'd be lying. Think fast. Oh God, oh God. What is she, what is she? Like, what is she? Whiskash. That's a ground? Water, water ground? Is she a water type or a ground type? I finally get to battle you. Oh God, here she goes. Come on, yes. She used psychic. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, yes. Doug Trio. Oh, she's definitely ground type then. Oh crap, not earthquake. 
Ah. Oh god, yes. Kurt Hummel. Here we go. Here we go, Kurt Hummel. Surfing. Yep, surf's up. The first one shot. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Surf. Kurt, baby, I believe in you. Aqua step. Aqua step. Step on this little shit. The sandstorm's gone too. Clot. Doodoo -doo head? Crap. I think Yas is the best option. Or another. Should I just go doodoo -doo head? Should we do doodoo -doo head versus doodoo -doo head? Oh my god. The most intense battle known to mankind. Doodoo -doo head versus doodoo -doo head. I'm going to terastalize because I feel like she is going to as well. Watch your step, because things are about to get a bit shaky. They've been shaky. I used Earthquake already. Girl, you're not special. You're just copying me at this point. Come on, doo-doo head. Come on. Come on, doo-doo head. Ah, so close. Like, obviously, this doo-doo head is going to beat my doo-doo head. Ah, crap. You gave a good fight, doo-doo head. At least you weakened the opponent. One thing about Miss doo head, she will always weaken the opponent for the final blow. I think I'm gonna let Peter finish this. Yup. Crit. Even better. First Elite Four member defeated. Thank you, Doodoo -doo Head. And now I'm battling a three-year-old. I thought she was ghost type, but considering there's already a ghost gym leader. Wait, can I heal? Oh, thank God I can heal. Oh my God. No, no, I'm not. Girl, 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 no. No, I am not ready to face her. I need to heal my damn team. We'll see if this is a ghost team because that little hair thingy looks like a drift blim. And she's just creepy in general, so. It's so cool you made it this far, but this is where you say bye-bye. All my Pokemon are super tough. It's hard to get intimidated by a three-year-old. The key. What the fuck is the key? Clef key. Oh, steel. Oh. She's a steel type. Okay, well, it's still smart for me to leave with Peter. <laughs> Go on, Raja. Smush him. I had a cop Raja in Gen 8, and I named her Gemini after Raja. <laughs> it's so funny how she calls hers Raja. I one-shotted it. Oh, I didn't even realize I one-shotted the Pokemon. Okay, Peter. Okay, Peter. Taking on everybody one by one. That's my king. That's my king. Okay. There's no way in hell this is gonna go easy, right? And now she's sending out an Amy Rose. God, Amy. I have to battle Amy. First I battle Doodoo Head and why are these people copying me? Oh, I should have terrestrialized. I should have terrestrialized. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I still think that my idea for terrestrializing works better in which you terrestrialize into a type that's strong against the type that's strong against steel. So like fire type is probably the most common one to use. So had they terrestrialized into a water type would have been smart. Whatever, this child's crying, that's more entertaining. Okay, who's next? Wait, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> He's an Elite Four member? <laughs> My boy! I serve as a member of the Elite Four too. Yes, unfortunately for me. At my gym, I use normal type Pokemon since I feel they have a lot in common with Larry. Larry's the best character in this game. I'm sorry, I have to say it. Boss told me to use a different type here. So if you have any complaints, please take them up with La Primera. Tropius, yep, that's what he starts with. Okay, so the rumors were true. So going with Peter was smart on my end. Bitter Blade, babes, Bitter Blade. A, yeah, Star Raptor. Star Raptor is normal flying. So what the fuck? I guess I should switch to Kurt. Is that a good idea? I don't know. What's normal flying weak to? I'm not good with my type advantages. Star Raptor. The game will tell me is fighting weak to this bitch. No, I'm gonna use it anyways. Oh crap! It's faster. Ah, oh, crap. Nobody on me. Oh, it's just, it's just Stevie. So I guess I'll be using Stevie for this. Oh, thank God she's faster. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're chilling. We're chilling for now. We're chilling for now. Altaria. Why do they all have my favorite Pokemon? That one had Doodoo Head. The other one had Amy Rose. And now this one has Altaria. Adam. Adam, a fallen soldier. Thank God I have a fairy type on my team. Who's faster, but not strong enough? Fuck. Ah, oh, shit. 
Oh, thank God. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. I walked into that one. Oh, it's the yellow one. Wait, the yellow one's electric. Then why does it say fire flying on Cerebi? I gotta switch off for Doodoo Head then. Doodoo Head, come in. Oh no, don't confuse her. Doodoo Head, please, this is your one shot. Okay. 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 So far, Miss Doodoo Head out outlasting my 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 expectations that's the word hey she really did not one hit against herself okay doodoo head when i first saw this pokemon i'm going into a tangent i thought it was going to be based off a balloon animal because of the knot on its neck that could have been a really cool concept by the way balloon animal pokemon Pokemon, look into that. Electric ghost, make it a balloon animal. The spirit of an electric, of a ghost, you know, possess the balloon animal. And because balloon animals are staticky, it has static as its ability. That'd be cool. Or maybe like electric flying could be a cool concept. It's made of rubber and it's floating everywhere. Stevie is faster than Flamigo. So she too shot at that bitch. Larry, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Like on a normal day, I would let you win, but like. Come on, you know I need this. Wait, where's Hass? Oh, is Larry gonna yell? Come on in, Hassel. Larry, you you may need to speak up just a bit. Oh my God, Larry's just like me. Hassel! <laughs> Sorry. Yo. Girl, he's right there. He could have heard. He could have heard it. He could have heard Larry. Hello, Larys. It delights me to see you here. As for you, Larry, I see you made Riko do the shouting again. Hmm? It's okay, Larry. I'm on your side, no matter what. Okay. Okay, okay, come on, Amy. Oh, thank God, okay. Okay, Amy's already down hard. <laughs> fuck. Dragalge. What the fuck is Dragalge weak to? Anything else? Like anything? Ice, ground, dragon? Yeah, we are switching for Miss Doodoo Head. Doodoo Head, please. Please, Doodoo Head, please. I can't lose now. We are well into this, man. Ugh, I just want her to one-shot a Pokemon once. Ugh, at least she got one Pokemon down. Thank you, thank you. Flapple is Grass Dragon. So could Peter take it? Is it? Oh, okay, it's not. But it still did a lot of damage. And Peter avoided an attack. Okay, Peter. Peter is fighting for that fucking crown. Honestly, I respect it. Peter puts up a good fight. Haxorus. Ha yeah, I keep looking up a guide. I keep looking up a guide. I do, okay? I do, what about it? I've never said that I was a smart Pokemon player. And if you've been watching this Let's Play, you would know that, you wouldn't be surprised. Amy, please be faster. Amy, Amy, please, please girl, please. <sighs> Could've one-shotted, could have. Oh, oh, Amy, please, Amy. Thank you, Amy. No point in letting this drag on, ha ha ha. Ah crap, it's faster. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Kurt, thank you. Thank you for toughing it out. Oh. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, let's just risk it. Oh, yeah. Kurt, Kurt, my king. He did more than enough damage, though. More than enough. So... I feel like we can take this on. I'm gonna send Peter out because I'm pretty sure Peter might be faster, although I'm not sure. Okay, Peter's faster, okay. Okay. Even though it wasn't effective. That is the first time in any Pokemon game where I defeated the Elite Four first try. Is he crying? Bitch, that's how powerful I am. I make grown men cry for me. Grandpa. Oh, that's his granddaughter. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Let this man cry for me. Yas hassle. Yas all. Your result for the elite test of the champion assessment is... What do you think? I fucking passed, obviously. And now here we go. Champion battle. And she healed up my team. Oh, thank you, Rika. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. You know what, Poppy? You're fucking creepy as hell, but I love you anyways. I don't care that you're three years old. I'm still scared of you. Well, uh, good luck. Even a baby dragon can breathe fire. <laughs> I love them. I love them all so much. Is it too early to say that like, this might be the best cast of characters in any Pokemon game? Like, can I say that? Like, am I allowed to say that? Oh my God. Every single one of my Pokemon are level 60, except for Stevie. <laughs> Stevie, I'm so sorry. If only I had a rare candy. I have some experience, like you can have all of them. 
kind of deserve them, honestly. It's time for the champion battle against Gita. It gives me great joy that you've managed to make it all the way to the pinnacle of the Pokemon League. Before we get started, I should apologize for one thing. You see, I have a trait that some might say is inappropriate for the League Chairwoman. I am utterly incapable of holding back when it comes to Pokemon battles. Isn't that something you should have? <laughs> as a champion? As a Pokemon trainer in general? Maybe that's why nobody's passed this test recently. It's a bit of a problem to be honest. Gita. Starting off with a pat trap. Miss Yes. And I send it out, Peter. Smart move on my end. Girl, shut up. Like, oh my god, can these people stop talking mid-battle? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so annoying. Oh, and of course she fucking crits. Oh, my god. Yeah, I know you crit. You don't have to tell me. I wouldn't mind them if they weren't so slow. Like, why not just have like a little text bar at the bottom of the screen? instead of like cutting to a full cutscene, Like we get it, these people can move. I, it's probably not smart for me to do this because it's gonna knock them out and it didn't knock out Avalug, so that was a dumb move, but salutes to you anyways, Peter. <laughs> Who do I go with? No one else, I guess, okay, we gotta go with Amy. Flash cannon girl, and she's faster too. That's my fucking girl. That's my girl. Veluza, 100%, we gotta bring Stevie out for that one. That's a pretty obvious choice. <laughs> Oh, one shot. Okay, Glimora. Who the fuck is that? Let's let's do Surf. Let's do Surf. I don't know what this typing is. What is it? Oh fuck. Amy. Amy, please. <laughs> Come on. Okay. It was down to my girl. And she did that. She fucking did that. Amy, congratulations. You are the winner of my heart. Oh my god, I did it! I'm a champion! Congratulations, that's right. Now I can really say you're good to go. Thank you, Larry. Larry's my boy. See, Larry's approval means everything to me. <laughs> Hassle, I'm sorry, I meant you too. Don't worry, you you matter just as much. Champion Vis, it is now your duty to set an example for all the trainers of Paldea. You became a champion. I don't want to play jokes right now, let's just say yes. I knew all along. I got word from La Primera when you cleared the elite test. Oh man, Vis, I'm a champion and now you're a champion, which means we're true equals. You and me, both champion ranked trainers. This is amazing. Now that you've made it here, I got one thing to say. Let's be best rivals for life. Honestly, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what, Nimona? That's what you fucking deserve because Miss Nimona truly is the best one, okay? <laughs> Nimona's my girl. Do wait a moment, Champion Nimona. Huh? What's the matter, Premira? The Champion Assessment has only just ended. I believe arrest is in order for Champion Vis, Cerulege, and the other- Was she gonna battle me? Oh, wow, I did not pay attention to the dialogue. She was about to battle me right now? <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to battle her right in the center of town. Girl, we're gonna destroy it. The full cutscene. There you are, Vis. You ready for a battle between champions? Because all these folks here seem ready to watch. Word got around, I guess. We really are the two most popular kids in school, huh? Um, Peter, please be faster. No, of course you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? This is the Nimona I've been waiting for, so I really hope she humbles me because it's what I deserve. <laughs> is she okay? Why does she look like that? What the fuck is going on? Girl, we've done this how many times? You. You did it! Okay, thank God. That was legit incredible. You're the strongest one out there, Vis. Oh man, Pokemon battling, am I right? It's so much better, so much more fun than I ever knew. I'm back in my dorm room. And Victory Road has been completed. I still have to do all of Team Star. And there's the base right over there. I already accidentally ran by it before. The Team Star story is like, ugh. I have to battle this old man who's like here for some fucking reason. I don't remember. Blah, 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 blah. Like, okay. And now this fucking bitch Cassiopeia. Shut up. Like, <laughs> this storyline would be so much more fun if you weren't doing the exact same thing every time. That's the problem with this game in general. All the stories, the Titan Pokemon, the this thing. It's the same thing every time. At least the gym challenges for the gym run are different, you know? So like there's some variety to them, but this it's just 
you come, you defeat 30 Pokemon, you battle the guy with his car, and you're done. I just feel like we could do... Oh my god, my game literally- I thought it was about to crash then, I'm like, excuse me? Okay, there we go. Battle's finished, I did 31. I love over overachieving. So you're this. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. That's what that Nepo baby gets. I'm the fucking champion. The fucking champion. Know who the hell I am, Ortega. And here we go with the flashback. Honestly, these flashbacks are interesting though. I will give him that. All we need to know is that Ortega created the cars. You're the son of a wealthy family and an heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. As the former director of the academy, Oh, Harrington is the prince, the ex-principal. The members of Team Star who confronted the students who used to bully them and an altercation broke out. It did not escalate, but it did cause a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. The students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out one after another and the records of the incident were deleted. So no one knew about it. This student declared that they would take responsibility for the team's actions. They requested I exonerated the other students of Team Star from any blame, and then assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility, Cassiopeia. I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I only have one left, and that's the final Team Star base. So I guess it would make sense to just head up there and fight them oh my god she's just there the girl herself is there with clive i'm here because i don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt what a good leader say something or get a closer look i'm gonna say something something blah 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 <laughs> I am not paying attention. <laughs> Since my team's over leveled, we can probably just assume what happens. I defeated the team star base, no problem. Let's just fast forward through this. Eri, I'm so sorry, cause you're so fierce. And honestly, I'm starting to be on their side, but I had to do this in order to continue the story. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for you. I didn't mean to. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. So she's the one who taught them how to fight. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. Neither Neither are you. I'm only doing this because I'm 10 years old and I have no say. Look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Everybody has been battled. They'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back to attending classes. So he wanted them to go back to school. So there's only one thing left. We have to get the big boss. Where is the big boss? The true identity of the big boss is none of I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends, and I treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. This. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark, and Clive should come too. The way I'm not even gagged or gooped by this because it's like, this is the fourth game in a row. The fourth game in a row where they did a twist villain. Sup this? Why do you say sup? Clive? Yup, that's my name. Actually, no. It's time for me to bring a little end to this performance. The true identity. Oh my god, who could have seen it coming? Let's just keep it going. No way! Yes, this might be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect after all. There's one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. I'm battling the fucking principal in the middle of school in front of all of these students. There are students walking by. Do these people not care what's going on? I'm the new kid is battling the principal in the courtyard. You got something you'd like to say to me, sir? It seems you've grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. 
though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie. Mind you, Cassio Pia's true ident- But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. So that's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in a battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So if you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia, such as my resolve. But you are strong, so... He just tested me? Bitch, we all know who it is. Like, let's... Like, not a gag at all. Girl, wipe that smirk off your face. You knew damn well. This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. There's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No. Penny. Now, bow down before the- I can't take her seriously. Wait, why does her fucking battle theme hit? Oh my god. Wait, does she have Eevees on her team? Flare. Oh my god, her team is fully Eevees. Kurt Hummel, it's up to you this time. Sending out Flareon. Girl. Girl, really? 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 Against the water type, knowing there's recoil damage? I mean, like, snaps to you for the burn, but like, you're being recorded, girl. Come on, Penny. <laughs> Thank God they made Penny's battle theme hit, though. Thank you, because honestly, I'm sorry, but like, this is such a boring reveal. <laughs> so at least one good thing came from it. Anyways, Amy, we all know what's going on. Girl, shut up. I don't care. I'm terrestrializing just to show this girl who the true boss of this story is. Me and Amy, the powerful duo of Pokemon Violet. Time to terrestrialize, shine bright like the starry sky and be- <laughs> Yeah, it's all over. What'd you think would happen? You saw how I defeated all of them. I'm literally the fucking champion. Penny, Miss Penny, it's finally over guys. It's done. Oh, another flashback. We're done here. I think we should all call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gone out of hand, but we didn't even fight. We didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. They didn't do anything wrong to begin with. I'm on their side, especially Eerie. I'm on Eerie's side mainly. The other four are cool, but I'm on Eerie's side. I love her. I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you into this. So I'll take responsibility. Yeah, she was the one who got sent away. Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. So the entire point of the Team Star storyline was to just disband Team Star. Like... That was it. Just disband them because the boss of Team Star wanted Team Star to be done, but didn't have the power to do so. Now, young lady, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old <laughs> yeezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, let me reveal my identity. Blah, blah, blah. This bitch is actually gagged by that. Girl, calm down. Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew was Clive, was mine. I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Hey, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? I have some big feelings about that. Wait, hey! Hey, you're the one in trouble here. Everyone, why don't you come out? 
<gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Penny's getting exposed. Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo. <laughs> His nickname's Momo. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. The entire goal of the story was to disband Team Star because Penny thought it would be best for their safety, only to then find out that the principal is actually okay with them. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who do not display are revoked, only to revoke the threat of expelling them. So Team Star is back in business. <laughs> You know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it, sort of illegally, by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Well, thank God I've never spent a single LP. There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you meet me in front of the school stairs? I'll be waiting. Can I just jump on her? What if I just jump her for causing me all this trouble? Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Can I land right on top of her? <laughs> about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League Point system, but they're letting me off easy. Pokemon League said they'll waive my depth if I do some volunteering engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I gra- This girl committed a crime and got a career with the Pokemon League? Thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you, so here. Oh my god, my favorite move in the game. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you can ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking stuff. Starfall seat completed. So that's it, right? Like, that's the entire game done. Yo, Arvin here. Bow wow. Oh, I'm a boss dev, my boy. You remember what we talked about before, about going to Area Zero? Well, all the effort you've been putting in around Paldea has really helped you make a name for yourself. Built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who want to go with us. Yeah, I wonder who they are. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try and observe the inside of the Great Crater, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally go back home. Oh, wait, oh, oh, okay. So is this like the end game? Or is this post game? I'm gonna assume it's end game because the credits haven't rolled yet. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. You, you're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you can come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle, drag him. Drag him, Nimona, drag him. Oh, you know shit's about to go down. Everybody's here together. Yo, something's happening. I don't know what it is, but something is happening. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Yeah, girl, she has a name. My name's Penny, exactly, tell her. Hey, we never got to talk. I'm Nimona, I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? You talk- <laughs> Why are they dragging each other left and right? Oh my God. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Fist. I've been expecting you, and it seems you've gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Nimona, student ID number 805C001, and Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Why does he sound like a robot? Ivan, did you uh, tell your dad about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all what made your way down to the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber by using the elevator you see on your right. What the fuck is going- I don't- Dad? What is going on? What? I'm, I'm a little sussed out. Wait. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. If you utilize my Rhydon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. Miss Ma'am? Like, is she like, <laughs> is she like incapable of fear or what? Is she like, is she gonna jump? Why is she running first? Like she has my Rhydon. Get that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Ooh, cutscene. Ah, yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. Girl, how are you scared of heights? The shit that I've done with this Pokemon, no way in hell it's still scared of heights. Oh, we're all just getting on Moto Mommy, no problem. Like, what if there's a weight limit? Oh. 
Oh, oh, what's happening? What's happening? Why is this in slow-mo? <gasps> He's holding my hand. Oh my god. Um, you better not fucking let go of me, Arvin. <laughs> oh! Pulled me in with one arm. That's my boyfriend, y'all. That's my fucking boyfriend. Moto Mommy, why is Moto Mommy scared? I'm pretty sure Moto Mommy's afraid of this place. And we sent this poor girl down here without her permission. It chose to go back in its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. Arvin, be serious. I'm pretty sure Moto Mommy's afraid. Where's Nimona? Oh my God, where's no my bestie? Hello? Nimona? Everyone, you have to see, okay. Oh my God. Area zero is amazing. I guess your ability would be on tempo, huh? Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. You should now make your way to me at the zero lab in the deepest part of area zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior which I cannot unlock. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the creator. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do as you soon as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. <gasps> Are they following me? Wait, where's Arvin? Arvin? Oh my God, hi. They're all like walking around, moving. Oh my God, it's like Uncharted. Wait, this is cool. They're actually following me like allies. We're just, oh my God, like, can y'all hurry up? Why are y'all all the way back there? Okay, they're just having like therapy sessions and praising me, so. What about you, Nimona? Biss and I are classmates, neighbors back home too. Plus he said he'd aim to be a champion and he did it, so now I've got a champion bud. Wait, what? That's wild. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got cool friend? Oh, oh, he's about to, sh oh my God. No, I wanted to listen to his story. He was about to brag about being friends with me. Talent fame, go fuck yourself. I don't wanna fucking deal with you right now. Ivan, continue your story. Um, nobody asked you. Stop trying to flex on us. Okay, oh, I wanted to hear his story. I wanted to hear his rendition of how we met. Can I fall down? Oh, nope, but I'm sliding. Wee! <laughs> oh, I bet that's what we're- <laughs> Radish stations. Research stations, Arvin. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. Girl, it's just what's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Don't drag me into this. I knew what the name was. What the fuck? That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Vis, let's take it on together. Okay, we can just go around it, but sure. Oh, <laughs> she just one-shotted it. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. The facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. Biss, would you be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel? Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Gang, 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 gang. Sorry, like we're literally here in a crisis and I'm just out here taking selfies. The second research station, about time too. Hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too, girl. That's a fucking robot. What the? This, it's battle time. Oh, I get to battle with Penny now? Iron, but how do we already know its name if we haven't? Shouldn't it just be like question mark, question mark, question mark? And Umbreon is frozen. That's not cool. Penny, can you do something else? Like switch your Pokemon out? You're just like, like what the fuck? It's frozen. Do something. Put it in a microwave. Thaw it out. Like, I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered what these, if these compact, cruel beasts were indeed Pokemon at all, one of our teams suffered a brutal blow from a beast and was mortally wounded. A member of the survey team managed to capture this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Dawnfan, Yet differences such as its texture and the way it moves suggest it's biologically separate. Some of the life forms that you see residing now in that within Area Zero are future Pokemon that have lived in a distant day we have yet to see. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the future Pokemon to this place. So the thing my dad spent forever researching down here, he actually got it working? Though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? A time machine. You mean you can actually travel to the future? It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. 
Well, that's horrifying. If possible, I would like to speak when we can meet face to face. It'll be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation. Did he go to the future and now he can't come back? Is that what's happening? What are your parents like, Nimona? Rich? Normal, I guess, to you. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Where are we going? <laughs> I'm following them. Why are y'all all the way over there? Where the fuck are- Where did you even come from? They're just appearing out of nowhere. Are we even going the right way? Nice. We get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out of us again, 100% guaranteed. Oh my god, another one. Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was a future Pokemon all along. Whoa, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Miss and I are old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Yup. Yup, me and the boy. Me and my fucking boy. We're gonna do this together. I came in. See, me impressing Arvin once again. Yes, look at us. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before a creator get together? Jealous. If we've got things from the literal future roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Duro Turo doing anything to keep them under control? How could he let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like, oh, so brilliant Professor Turo ever messes up. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the future, right? So what about Maridon? Isn't it pretty likely that it's also one of those future Pokemon? Wait a sec, I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin, you had Maridon's ball and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it. You still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. I guess I got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon Maridon, it was found by my dad when he was working on his time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Maridon, which I entrusted to this, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the future by the time machine. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Maridon. You mean there's another one around here? What if they're family? The other one could still be here somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Maridon. So Maridon's a future Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Fist, you gotta let me battle Maridon right now. Nimona! Like, it won't even pop out of its Pokeball. Exactly, Penny. That was the first I've heard of it coming from the future. I thought it was just some weird Pokemon my dad brought home. We all lived together at the Lighthouse Lab for a little while. My dad made me promise to keep it a secret and I had to take care of it for him. Oh my god. Oh. Again, this would be so much prettier if the graphics were nicer. Oh my god. The crystals. Is this the terrestrialization thing? One slip and we can kiss our short lives goodbye. Damn, Penny. <laughs> Thank you for stating the obvious, but like, <laughs> damn. So the professor's down there somewhere waiting for us. Is it just me? Or do the crystals here give off the same glow as Pokemon when they terrestrialize? There's gotta be some sort of connection. Penny with her big ass brain. We are the same, me and her. Oh my God, there's a hydrogen in the rock. Hello? Is it stuck or is that supposed to be like that? Hi, do you want a battle? Like, how the fuck is it in there? I'm so confused, is that on purpose? What the fuck is that doing? Why is it moving like that? I think something bad happened. See, Penny once again coming in with the facts. Yeah, she's just like spilling tea. I would love to like read it, but it's going by so fast. I can't keep up. But basically Penny is relating to Maridon being like, oh, when I'm sad, I hide. Maridon is hiding from here because it's sad. Wait, what, where do I go? Do I go down? I can't go down. Oh my God, oh my God. Um, what? You hurried back to the other so you wouldn't get separated. Girl, how? I just fell off like three stories. <laughs> what? Okay, somehow I just jumped off the cliff and landed where I needed to be. Thank you for that. I had no idea how I was actually supposed to get down here. Hello, children. Hi, Daddy. Sorry, that's Arvin's line. Yeah, Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm, I'm, oh my God, I knew it. It's a fucking robot. It's a fucking robot. You're creeping us out. Hello, children. Children, 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 children. <laughs> Initiating restart. I'm not ready for what's about to happen. Because like, I have theories, okay? Everybody is saying that the ending to this game is sad. H Hello, can you hear me now? Please f f f forgive my 
previous transition, there seems to be some signal interference. That's not what it was. The locks have been disabled at last. Please make your way now to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. Do not tell me the professor's evil. Like, I've heard people say that the ending is sad. And now there's talks that, like, you can travel to the future and not come back. So, like, is that what's happening? There was definitely something off about the professor. Maybe it was just a dramatic flair to get us all jazzed up. That got you jazzed? Yeah, maybe even big time jazzed. <laughs> you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> Can I? No, it won't let me jump off. Oh, 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 oh. I've made it to this, whatever this is. Oh, and oh my God, everybody's... These are ride or dies. They saw me jump off a cliff and they jumped off with me. Ride or fucking dies right there, huh? Come on, gang, let's go down here. That's one way to get down. Where's my friends? Are they gonna jump to- Oh, Penny's already here, Nimona, Arvin. Y'all are real ones. Y'all are real ones for that. Oh my God. This is so cool. What the hell is this part of the game though? Like, is this post- I don't think- This can't be post game, right? Like, this is like the end of the game. Um, uh, there's a bird in the door. Can I battle it? I can. I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. I don't think I was supposed to be down here, man. I have no idea where I'm actually supposed to go. Oh, wait, never mind. I have to go right here. Okay, we've made it. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. Since you've disabled all four locks, the gates to the li Zero Lab should open for you now. But once you open the gate, you will be completely you will quickly be confronted by the dangerous Pokemon inside. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come at us, then shouldn't we also have Maridon help? It hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down here. But it's really strong. I know it is. It ate all those Herba Mystica we found too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. Go on, Vis. Let Maridon out. I'll try, but like... I don't want to force her. Hi, Moto Mommy. How you doing? You scared? Girl, I don't blame you if you are. All right, come on, Vis. Now that we've got on ready, it's time to open that gate. Oh. Oh my God. The. <gasps> it's the other Moto Mommy. Just there. Oh. Oh. The family reunion, it's happening. Girl, I don't think this is a good thing. I, I'm i pretty sure these two have beef. Yeah. Yeah, Moto Mami. Moto Mami girl, no. No, something's not right. Oh my God. The frame rate of this cutscene is so bad. Are you bummed that your heartwarming family reunion got cut off so quick? What part about that was heartwarming? Are you joking? There was nothing heartwarming about it. See, Penny is the only fucking one here who has common sense. She was right to drag those two to begin with. You think that other Maridon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the professor warned us about? Didn't the professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come from the inside? You mean from inside the game? Oh. Oh. Maridon. Motomami, please. Motomami, this is now the time. Why does the Hariyama not have arms? Are we going to battle them? Sorry, what? Okay. Here we go. Me, Amy, Nimona, and Lycanroc are about to battle Iron Treads. And once again, I should not have sent Amy out to do this. Um, oh crap, I'm gonna take out both of their Pokemon. Why did they choose to do Surf? Nimona, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. <laughs> sorry, Lycanroc. At least I took out Iron Treads. Ow, they're strong. Now this is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're really annoying when you say stuff like that. Oh, Moto Mommy? <gasps> they're running away. Yeah, and? If those Pokemon get out, we're going to have a gigantic mess on our hands. We got to go after them. Why me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, the girls are leaving. 
Finally, it's just me and him. Okay, me and my boyfriend. We are about to take on a freaking dragon. Amy. Amy did that. Amy did that. But of course, Arvin coming in once again with the final hit. See, the power of friendship and romance had us perfectly in sync. All thanks to our Titan hunting. Vis, you take Motomami there and go take care of business. I believe in you. I believe in you, Arvin. Don't get hurt. I should probably change. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was about to change out my Pokemon team, but never mind. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. It's him. He's here. Um. Human presence detected within Zero Lab. Duro, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, is it actually a robot? What? Your Maridon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Turo. Then who are you? I am an artificial intelligence the professor created, imbued with his memories and knowledge. I am an AI-powered robot? What? The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four? He died? How the hell am I supposed to get with him if he's a fucking robot? The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. From the time I first reached out to Director Claval and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Vis, the real reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab and I desire your help. I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. I had a feeling a robot was involved but I thought he created a robot because he was stuck in the future and there was no way for him to... He died? And Arvin doesn't even know? It's truly a great relief to me that you came. I will answer any questions that you may have. Um, so what happened to the real professor? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, his physical body received grievous injuries that left it unstable to certain life, to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for his son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. So what's the time machine? The time machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When he was alive, Professor Turo had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, what you might call future Pokemon. Even as we speak, the time machine continues to automatically draw Pokemon from the future to this time. And what is an AI really? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The result of those calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble Professor, the Professor in any way. What is it that you really want? The original Professor had a dream of a world in which the future Pokemon might live alongside present day Pokemon, but these Pokemon have gained a strange power due to their adaptations in the distant future. And this power has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological balance of this current age. The original Professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the future Pokemon from escaping. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. What the hell is this place? What the fuck is going on here? Do I have to battle something? This is a time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID, which has been embedded within the Violet Book. If you place the Violet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There's just one issue. If you try 
To stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle. Initiating emergency shutdown. Please wait. Please wait. Access denied. Shutdown commence overridden. Reinitializing. It's up to you now, Vis. AI Toro switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Please defeat me. What the fuck? Oh my god. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Ah. Fucking hell, why? Why are you paralyzed now? Oh, thank God that the move went. Ah, uh, God, this is not going to go well. Never mind. Back in the race. Dude had just took out the moth. Okay. Good start. Good start. Um, I think Iron Thorns is the Tyranidar one. So I'm going to bring Amy out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. That's my girl. That's my girl. Kurt, Yas, and Amy are knocked out. Who's next? Iron Bundle. I'm going to bring Stevie in because I hope Stevie can handle it, even though it is quicker. I'm okay. Okay. Took it out. No problem, though. So that's good on my end. I don't know what it's weak to. What would it be weak to? Oh, it's weak to electric. Is it faster? Stevie is faster. Oh, come on, Stevie. Come on, Stevie. Come on, Stevie. Come on, Stevie. Yup. Yup. Yeah, it was super effective. Amy's good. Yas would be good too. I should use this to revive and bring out Yas. Yas, she had its HP restored. Okay. Stevie, thank you. Thank you. And she's faster too. But is she strong enough? The last time she got one shot at. Oh. Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. No. Damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Peter, I'm going to have to send you out. I have. Oh, Peter, please, please be faster. Please be faster. Is it enough? Okay, it's enough. Iron Valiant. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this one. This is the Gardevoir Gallade one. Who would be super effective? Yas would be. Stevie would as well. And Amy. So is it worth healing up Amy? I want to send out Doodoo -Doo Head. Just so I can heal up Stevie just in case. Ah, oh, damn. I wish I had max revives on me. That could have been so much more helpful. And Doodoo -Doo Head, thank you for your service. Stevie is fast. I know she is. So I'm going to send her out first. But I don't know if she's fast enough what worries me. Do the hurricane. No, she's gonna miss. Ugh, oh, crap. Oh, that was a bad move. I should have done pluck. I should have done pluck. Oh my god. Amy, it's up to you. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. There's no way in hell. Crap. Oh. Come on. <gasps> my girl, she one-shotted it. Wait, oh my god, I did not expect that. <gasps> Yo, Amy Rose is the fucking MVP of this entire game. I don't care. Fuck my other team members, man. It's all Amy. Is that it, though? Like, that's the end, right? Oh my god, I just killed a hot robot. I don't know how to feel about this. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to deal with this. Arvin, no, you shouldn't have come in here. Bro, I just killed your fucking dad. <laughs> like, did you really beat all the baddies here without- Yeah, I wish Nimona was here. Nimona could have been a great help. Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? B -b Thank you f -f for everything. The time machine has finally- He has finally been stopped. You're not really my dad, are you? Oh. Look how big you've grown. I'm so proud of you, mate. Sorry. You were alone for so long, Arvid. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. 
Whoa, whoa, what's going on now? An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as an intended. Activating Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about. Locking all Pokeballs except those to register to Turo's ID, AI Turo disabled, Paradise Protection Protocol initiated. Oh no. Is it round two? Wait, what the fuck is going on? You are not getting in my way. Moto Mommy? I can't battle with her. The Pokeball's locked. Our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Oh. <laughs> I think it's time for her to finally have her moment to shine. Not you. Oh my god. Oh my god, Moto Mommy. Moto Mommy has fully evolved. Hey. Okay. Am I battling? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a first for Pokemon. Battling. First of all, two legendaries. Two of the exact same legendaries. Um, what the hell are these moves? Power Gem, Electro Drift, Endure, Terra Blast. Oh, right, that does nothing. It changed into its battle form. Let's go, Maridon, you've got this. The data says I am the superior. Fall and become a foundation, blah, blah, blah. Why does this one have Hyper Beam? Oh my God. Can we really not pull off a win here? This doesn't look good. Hey, Vis, your Terra Orb's glowing. Oh, finally. Hey, Moto Mami. With the Charizard on its head. So how strong is Terra Blast? We're about to find out. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Defeated him again. You did it. It's not going berserk anymore. How? How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes. A completely unforeseen outcome, even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so as long as I'm here. It appears I, myself, am a part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. You know, when I was watching you on all your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of... Jealousy. I envied you your freedom. The way that you came together working in a league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all you are into your battles. The way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. I wish that I too might be as free as all of you. Free to seek out that which I might treasure above all else, not bound so i've made a decision i will use the time machine to journey to the world of the future that i have dreamed of i am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped i also cannot deny my desire to see what the future world for myself is this what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure arvin i am sorry that i kept the truth from you for so long i inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor and so i understand better than any your father truly loved you. Oh my god, no. No. Arvin Maraid on Viz. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Oh my god. How could you just go? Dad, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. 
I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name using his voice and wearing his face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... I... Oh my god, don't you dare fucking cry. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Even though the professor's gone, I bet he's finally having a real fun adventure of his own in the future. Yeah. Thanks, Penny. Um, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Vis? I mean, we might as well go home. Yo, Arvin's depressed as fuck, and I don't even blame him. Okay, everybody, listen up. What is it? Let's take the long road home and get a little more fun out of this adventure. Sounds great. If we can load up on snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Vis, not you too. And girl, I'm doing this for you. You need this. Come on, Arvin. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He touched my shoulder. Yup. That's the end, right? That has to be the end. Is that the end? Oh god, oh god, mute, 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 mute. I don't want to get copyright claimed. Why the fuck are we ending this with Ed Sheeran, by the way?